Good morning. And welcome to day 10. Yeah. Oh. So today we have to pop to the pro dive centre because Eddie left her asthma pump in the buoy when we went out on a snorkel trip yeah. yesterday. It's our last full day today oh and we don't really want to go home, if I'm honest. Beautiful. Yeah. It's really nice. Show them. Yeah, it is. Bloody, bloody lovely. That is bloody glorious. Ain't it? I oh know. So tonight we are going to sit and watch the sunset down there. We'll um, we'll I have breakfast. Show you breakfast this morning. Yeah, I think we'll show us all the, all the food this morning, yeah. won't we? Just come up back from the dive centre and just change the towels, and we're paddling along the water. Uh -huh. Water's edge. It's so nice. Yeah, it is. So we're just making the most. Gonna miss this. It's like my most favourite thing to do. This morning I've got an omelette, cheese and tomato omelette, and some fresh cut bread with apricot jam. Before I started tucking in, I've got three fried hicks, the three pieces of toast, and going back up for seconds as well, which I'll show you that after. <laughs> so I've gone up for seconds. Mm -hmm. These are two really good donuts. Chocolate and white, they taste the same. Muffin I haven't had before. They're nice, the muffins. And the passion fruit that you would have seen me gagging on last night. They're <laughs> really sweet. So we're at a favourite spot at the end of the beach at Sangu Sandbar. It's definitely gotten a lot busier on our last day. Yeah. I think capacity is doubled. Just had our fun on the swings. Look how gorgeous this water is. I haven't seen it this beautiful so far. Oh, this is what it's like walking up the sandbank. And then sometimes you do get to see little sharks swimming in this shallow bit. As Ellie's just taking photos of me. I had to get in because it's just fucking glorious. Look at it. And I'm sweating like a bitch too. So it's the thing is I put sun cream on and it just like, ooh, bam, comes off my face all the bloody time. So we're gonna walk along the sandbar, just like this, for a bit. And hopefully, might get lucky and see a little shark swimming by us, but chances of that happening, I don't know, quite slim at the moment. So this is part of the sandbar of Karudu. The glorious water, either side, and as it stretches out, there's some people just about there. So, we're going to take a walk over there just to have a look how beautiful it is and how beautiful this one is, too. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. So, we're coming up to the end of the sandbar at the moment. You can see the tide's starting to come back in now. From uh, it was five past nine this morning, low tide. The current time is 10 a.m. So it'll be high tide by two o'clock and all this will be covered um, probably roughly between your knees, probably about a foot higher. So we're going to go walk. Where you can see the waves breaking just there, we're going to go walk over there. I'm still sweating like a bitch. Can't escape it in this country, can you? No, it's very oh, actually, one thing, I'm surprised at home, I never like walking barefoot anywhere. And I don't mind on this island because it's all sand. Yeah. So it's, it's great when you walk barefoot at night. Oh, it's a bit bitey. Bit. In the rain, when we were here the other day, um, we'll show you where the second waves are breaking. There's another little island you can go on to see, but we won't be able to reach that far because the tide water's coming in. <gasps> it's a f***ing stingray. Guys, we've just seen a massive stingray here. I thought it was a bit of seaweed. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. That is a feather tail stingray, that is. Looks like a bit of a rust bucket, but... Oh, that's gorgeous, seeing that. Yeah. Bye, little stingray. I feel privileged. I wanted sharkies. I'm gonna get a stingray. There's Ellie in the distance. Um, I can feel all the waves going in between my feet where they're meeting. So it's a bit hard to walk at the moment. But that stingray was impressive to see. We just found the smallest little hermit crab ever. Oh, look how cute. Yeah. And don't hold him too. Oh. Hey, buddy. 
You are so cute. I just want to give you a little kiss. Put them on your arm. Oh my god, it's so tiny. You're gonna grow to be big and strong, just like your brothers and sisters. Oh my god, how cute. Oh, uh, we literally just see him. I, I just saw him at the corner of my eye in the tiniest little shell ever. They're bloody adorable hermit crabs. Oh, I'll put him back. That's it. You're so cute. I'm going to name you Harry. <laughs> Harry the hermit. Harry That's the it. hermit. Put him back. Look. Oh no, put Say him back. Bye, bye bye. Harry. So order of today's meal. I've got chips with three fish, four rolls, three bits of butter, virgin pina colada. Why was trying to give me... um. So that's my lunch for today. I've got chips, three fish, some corn salad, yeah. and a roll. If you haven't watched yesterday's video, we caught emperor fish, job fish, and loads of red snapper yesterday, and we're having that tonight for dinner, mm. aren't we? I so that'd be wish really nice. Red snapper though, as well. Yeah, it's yeah. nice. There might be some going to spare because there's loads of it that's caught. So that's we're true. having that tonight, and we're going to enjoy our lunch now. I just gone up for seconds, so we're going to share this. What's this? So we've got strawberries. Watermelon, that's a white chocolate brownie, chocolate cake, passion fruit. Here you? Yummy, yummy, yummy. All the good stuff. Here we are at the Sangu restaurant with a baby white long tailed bird nesting on the ground. Aren't you cute? Hello, we've just come back from lunch and we showed you the little baby that was nesting. We didn't even know it was there the whole week we've been here. We just see the parents coming, out coming and in and out and we're like, oh, where fed. are they? I thought it was weird, like, apparently it's normal for them to nest on the floor, which yeah. I think is quite weird. Yeah, it is, it? yeah. But. So, it's quite nice. We're going to take a walk up the sandbar because it's high tide. We won't be able to walk out that far. Um, yeah, it's high tide now, so we're going to get a few clips. We're going to change your housing on here, so if you can't hear us that well, That's I do right. apologise. Yeah, I was just yeah. walking along, and I was seeing, like, these little, sil like, very, like, brightish shimmery silvery things. I was like, what's that? Yeah. We just put one back in the sea, but this yeah, one's Yeah, we saved one. It. We saved one, haven't we? Yeah. And then this little one hasn't made it. It's so tiny. Whoa. Oh, poor thing. What is that going to be then? I don't know. It's a funny baby. I don't know. But, oh, we've done our best. I saved one little fish. I just yeah. quickly picked it up and I threw it in. So it's in there a bit. So it's got a chance of survival now. Which have saved a life. Yeah! Always doing our bit to pick up plastic off the ocean. Where the bloody hell do you reckon that's come from? God knows. What is so it? So it's a bar tray. Oh yeah it is, yeah you're right. It's a bar tray. Hello, we're this back is, at our room. This is Sea Hair. Yeah, which is that time where we have to come back and get ready, unfortunately. For the last time. It sucks, doesn't it? Um, yeah, we've got to get showered, get ready. We're going to film a little video of our Karudu top things to do. Yeah. Which will be out after um, our end of travel video. Mm -hmm. it? So, two weeks time from when you're watching this. So, we're going through the gruesome job of packing everything away at the moment there's a bit we hate it's depressing so depressing yeah everything's just going <laughs> yeah we've just settled for the bill so for anyone who don't know everything you do gets paid to your room i think we said that in the hotel review if yeah. you haven't seen it we'll put another link it's up just above ellie's head we've, we've ne we're not used to that so we've never we like to just pay stuff before we go yeah but just keep the tabs, like if you do come here, just keep the tabs on what you're spending basically. We're now going to the end of the jetty to go watch the sunset, which I think the sunset is not going to exist. It's not happening. Because I'll show you why. <laughs> it's just our luck on our last night. That dirty great big cloud there, the sun's behind it and as it drops, it looks like it's raining over there. So I don't think we're going to get much luck, are we? Yes, yeah, oh. so we're going to go enjoy, have a drink and maybe get some little footage of some sunset and fish if we see any. Yeah. Okay, just before we go to the bar, we'll come across these little shoal. You've got a Sergeant Major fish there, and you've got a little shoal, which I think, I'm not sure, looks like yellowtail snapper, I think. Yeah. And there's another little Sergeant Major fish down there. Our restaurant is just at the end there where the lights are. We've got a beachfront table for us tonight. 
and oh, even do you know what even though there's like them big clouds over there still bleeding gorgeous isn't it absolutely gorgeous and I'll show you the other side because it's still nice because you've got this is your main pool area it's Franco's restaurant and Franco's yeah which is all nicely lit up you can tell the difference in the roughness because the way the wind's coming in apparently it's going to be stormy next couple of days we've got that nice love sign there that's the seafood yeah, restaurant and you've got a little fruit bat just coming overhead at the moment but apparently they're getting a storm for the next couple of days while we're over the weekend as well over the weekend yeah so they're just trying to make us feel better and yeah i already said to him at the reception that's what i said i said um if we can stay here we'll quite happily i'll quite happily work six days a week if i could stay on an island like this and just not go back to england because i hate it i just i don't like for anyone who knows me well I don't particularly like the UK very much and no. I've, I've always wanted it to be my goal and it's going to be our goal one day. We're going to make it happen, we're going to move abroad somewhere, just warm up because one, it helps my back, two, vitamin D is bloody good for you. I know I haven't um, had, so I've got a few things wrong with me, which I haven't had to take tablets for since I've been here. Yeah. Which is And I bet you as soon as we get home my back's going to play up, your things, things are going to play up. Yeah, so we need to move down south towards the equator somewhere somewhere like florida it's warm or yeah. somewhere like maldives we can be swimming all the time i need to learn how to swim first we're going to make it a goal though aren't we to move abroad one day just come back to our room we have the dreaded letter to find out what time we have to leave in the morning because our flight's at 9 25. check out our room six o'clock that's like a military operation breakfast in kwamas at six please pay a final call no light 6 30 seaplane check-in temperature six seven I'm really hoping that mid-21, when there's vaccines going around, it'll be a lot easier to travel. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah. Really hope. It's, so now... It's been worth it, but it's been a pain. Yeah, it has. It's definitely been worth it though. Yeah, so we are going to go to the restaurant and eat my caught fish of job fish and emperor fish, which are all known as reef fish, which we didn't know. So we go to the restaurant and say, oh, do you want reef fish? I'm like, yeah, what's reef fish? The guy told us today, it's emperor fish, job fish, red snapper. All the ones you find Snapper, find yeah. Parrot fish, trigger fish, you name it, you eat it, I guess. So this is our table for our last meal, which have dressed up really nicely for us. Can't see that, bub. But it says, see you soon, if anyone can't read it. So the food we have, Oh, yes, it's spaghetti tuna and it oh, smells absolutely divine so we're waiting for our fish at the moment which we've got to wait about five ten minutes for but we can call this a starter aren't we yeah tonight and then we're getting to fish and we've got a lovely breeze on the beach it's, it's gorgeous lovely. i'm really gonna miss this oh, look no. how gorgeous it is look you can see it's the best and then we're right on the front beautiful little table it is the best restaurant on the island, island I think because you can eat on the beach yeah. and you can't beat it and I'm going to really miss this so this is our fish that we've got it's emperor fish and chub fish it's really nice Did you wait? I've asked for french fries to come out with it too so you can fish and chips <laughs> that was our last night here yeah I'm really going to miss it me and Lily were just saying I'm going to miss showering outdoors and the toilet outdoors, it's waking everything. up in the middle of the night going to the toilet when it's raining because it's undercover a bit and you can mm. hear all the rain which is nice, hearing the rain on the roof during the night, it's the beach, yeah, I could go on honestly, for ages. Honestly, if you ever get the chance to come to the Maldives, do Just it. Just do it, honestly. It it's, is like incredible. I think I'm going to blab and cry tomorrow because oh, no, we, we go home tomorrow morning. And you would have seen, we see bioluminescence. Oh plankton we'll put a picture in now of the bioluminescent oh yeah plankton so, we see oh my god i've never seen that i was not expecting no it's amazing and they i was talking to one of the locals and they said because it's coming up to manta season yeah the bioluminescent plankton yeah. come up and he said basically if there's no lights on the beach the whole beach would just be lit up with plankton yeah so that'd be nice it's a bloody nice experience. If it's all tiled everywhere, I want to get my bare feet up. I'm Veruca everywhere. Veruca. Yeah. yeah. Bazooka that Veruca. Bazooka that <laughs> Yes. Look at that beautiful stingray in the. Oh, point it the wrong way. Look at that beautiful Hell. 
So we're going to share this. What's this? So we've got strawberries, watermelon, that's a white chocolate brownie, chocolate cake, passion fruit. Here you? Yummy, yummy, yummy. All the good stuff. All of the good stuff. I've noticed I always get a bloody photo of you. <laughs> get off. Yeah, I always get footage of her, but it's never me because I'm always oh, the one holding the bleeding camera. Bloody camera, look. Right, my time. What? <laughs> <laughs> Can he really, really stand still? Stand still. Turn around. What? Turn around. Why? Why? <laughs> Piss off. You don't want to stick your finger up there, trust me. It's not very nice. <laughs> Bloody hell. Uh, um, oh! What? 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 What happened? My dress flew off. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, so while I was looking at the phone, I could see these waves. <laughs> I mean, going like this, sorry. And uh, uh, Timmy's made an appearance. I feel sick. You've got air in your mouth. <laughs> she's been sick because she's got air in her mouth. I'm being sick because the waves at the end are uh, Timmy's here. doing one last walk along the beach at night. The light's on very bright, so if you see, well, it's the water. Fucking <laughs> hell. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I think the crab's going to miss us. <laughs> Sake. <laughs>